Welcome to Life in the UK Test.biz, where learning is fun. Although the UK had won the war, the country was exhausted economically and the people want the change. During the war, there had been significant reforms to the education system and people now looked for wider social reforms. The welfare state In 1945 the British people elected a Labour government. The new Prime Minister was Clement Attlee, who promised to introduce the welfare state outlined in the Beveridge Report. Two major welfare changes were introduced in 1948. An iron, Nye, Bevan, the Minister for Health, led the establishment of the National Health Service, NHS, which guaranteed a minimum standard of health care for all, free at the point of use. A national system of benefits was also introduced to provide social security, so that the population would be protected from the cradle to the grave. The government took into public ownership, nationalised, the railways, coal mines and gas, water and electricity supplies. In 1947, independence was granted to nine countries, including India, Pakistan and Ceylon, now Sri Lanka. Other colonies in Africa, the Caribbean and the Pacific achieved independence over the next 20 years. The UK developed its own atomic bomb and joined the new North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, an alliance of nations set up to resist the perceived threat of invasion by the Soviet Union and its allies. Britain had a conservative government from 1951 to 1964. The 1950s were a period of economic recovery. The Prime Minister of the day, Harold Macmillan, was famous for his wind of change speech about decolonization and independence for the countries of the empire. He was Winston Churchill's deputy Prime Minister in the wartime coalition government and became Prime Minister after the Labour Party won the 1945 election. He was Prime Minister from 1945 to 1951 and led the Labour Party for 20 years. William Beveridge, later Lord Beveridge, was a British economist and social reformer. It recommended that the government should find ways of fighting the five giant evils of want, disease, ignorance, squalor and idleness and provided the basis of the modern welfare state. Richard Austin Butler was born in 1902. He became a Conservative MP in 1923 and 1941. R.A. Butler oversaw the introduction of the Education Act 1944, often called the Butler Act, which introduced free secondary education in England and Wales. Dylan Thomas was a Welsh poet and writer, performed his work in public, including for the BBC. His most well known works include the radio play Under Milkwood first performed after his death in 1954, and the poem Do Not Go Gentle Into That Good Night, which he wrote for his dying father in 1952. During the 1950s, there was still a shortage of labour in the UK. Further immigration was therefore encouraged for economic reasons. For about 25 years, people from the West Indies, India, Pakistan and, later, Bangladesh travelled to work and settle in Britain. The decade of the 1960s was a period of significant social change. It was known as the Swinging Sixties. There was growth in British fashion, cinema and popular music. Two well-known pop music groups at the time were the Beatles and the Rolling Stones. The television was developed by Scotsman John Logie Beard, 1888-1946, in the 1920s. In 1932 he made the first television broadcast between London and Glasgow. Working with Radar led Sir Bernard Lovell, 1913-2012, to make new discoveries in astronomy. The radio telescope he built at Jodo Bank in Cheshire was for many years the biggest in the world and continues to operate today. A Turing machine is a theoretical mathematical device invented by Alan Turing, 1912-54. A British mathematician, in the 1930s, the theory was influential in the development of computer science and the modern day computer. The Scottish physician and researcher John MacLeod, 1876-1935, was the co-discoverer of insulin, used to treat diabetes. 
The structure of the DNA molecule was discovered in 1953 through work at British universities in London and Cambridge. Francis Crick, 1916-2004, one of those awarded the Nobel Prize for this discovery, was British. The jet engine was developed in Britain in the 1930s by Sir Frank Whittle, 1907-96, a British Royal Air Force engineer officer. Sir Christopher Cockerell, 1910-99, a British inventor, invented the hovercraft in the 1950s. Britain and France developed Concorde, the world's only supersonic passenger aircraft. It first flew in 1969 and began carrying passengers in 1976. Concorde was retired from service in 2003. The Harrier jump jet, an aircraft capable of taking off vertically, was also designed and developed in the UK. In the 1960s, James Goodfellow, 1937, invented the cash dispensing ATM, automatic teller machine, or cash point. The first of these was put into use by Brackley's Bank in Enfield, North London in 1967. IVF, in vitro fertilization, therapy for the treatment of infertility was pioneered in Britain by physiologist Sir Robert Edwards, 1925, and gynecologist Patrick Steptoe, 1913-88. The world's first test tube baby was born in Oldham, Lancashire in 1970. In 1996, Two British scientists, Sir Ian Wilmot and Keith Campbell, led a team which was the first to succeed in cloning a mammal, Dolly the sheep. This has led to further research into the possible use of cloning to preserve endangered species and for medical purposes. Sir Peter Mansfield, 1933, a British scientist, is the co-inventor of the MRI, Magnetic Resonance Imaging, Scanner. This enables doctors and researchers to obtain exact and non-invasive images of human internal organs and has revolutionized diagnostic medicine.